Uh, let's talk about Shrek 5. Were you a Shrek kid? Did you like the original I mean, ones? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like one, one, two, and three. I don't know how many there are there's, out there. There's, but there's four. At some point, I like just stopped yeah. watching. Okay, but that was probably because I actually grew up with like the earlier ones. Yeah, big fan of them. I see. It's funny because I, I like, I love one and two, three as a kid I liked, but when you go back and watch it, it is not a good movie. And same, and four, four is fine. Four is like very forgettable, but it's fine. And then they did the two Puss in Boots spinoffs. They had one that came out two years ago and then one that came out forever ago. And like, I remember when they announced the new one, I'm like, why, why are you making another Puss in Boots spinoff? The first one was fine, but why are you doing another one? Why don't you just do a Shrek five, right? Mm -hmm. Like that, that's the thing. And I judged a book by its cover. I thought it looked lazy. I thought it looked awful. Was that the one with the wolf? Yes. So I never saw that it's, one again. Like I've heard, yeah, ton, like everybody that's seen it. Told it's me incredible. It's, it, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's, uh, honestly, I just, like I like, and that's where like movies and even yeah. shows. I'm like, there's so much stuff that comes out. I'm like, mm -hmm. well, I'll how, tell you this. What? <laughs> like, how that, many are there now? <laughs> yeah, that movie. I, I was not excited for it. I didn't even go to the screening for it. They actually sent me one to watch at home because I was like, eh, I don't have time to go in theaters and watch it. I should have seen it in theaters. It, it, it is, if I put aside nostalgia and put away all my love for the first two Shrek films from when I grew up with them, that is the best written Shrek film, hands down, from animation to everything involved. It is the best Shrek film. It is so fucking well done and so well written. And I say that because it, it, Puss in Boots is having an anxiety attack. He's on his last life. So mm -hmm. how does that work? And he's having to go on this whole adventure and the animation is is like jaw dropping. I don't. I really hope Shrek 5 has the same animation style. I cannot recommend Puss in Boots Last Wish enough. Like that movie is so good. And the way it ends sets up perfectly for Shrek 5. Like it didn't, if we never got a Shrek 5, it was fine, it's whatever. But now we're officially getting a Shrek 5, and I think that's very cool. Uh, it's going to make a fuck ton of money. It's going to make a, a, like, a fuck ton. <laughs> like, and you know what's even more wild? Two weeks prior to this, Toy Story 5 comes out. And then two weeks later, Shrek 5 comes out. So, like, this year, 2026, when it releases, it's, uh, let me see, it's July, July 1st, 2026, when this movie releases... I, I think this will be like one of the most the box office record currently for the the United States just the United States is Star Wars The Force Awakens I think there's a chance Shrek 5 beats it Force Awakens was the seventh one right yeah the one when it all came back it made like almost 800 million just in the United States which is like that's not unheard that, of it's that's understandable yeah so it's, it's Shrek coming well no I was talking about from Star Wars yeah. perspective yeah coming it's back coming back but what else is coming back it's so Shrek many five. years <laughs> so i don't know i i don't know where i want the story they said everyone's coming back so i have to imagine they have some sort of story here why make another one all these it's the same thing with puss in boots too the only reason they made that film was because they had a story to tell how many years has it been since shrek four has come out uh let's take a look uh how much you want to guess seven years uh so it's been 2010 with shrek four so it's been oh, what it'll be 16 years yeah 16 years since the last one or 16 years uh yeah will be the big difference it's wild because the first one came out in 2001 then they made 2004 shrek 2 2007 2010 so they had that nice three-year gap between each film then nothing so i don't know man i'm all for it and then puss in boots uh came out in 2011 and then the new one came out in uh, like two years ago, uh, 2022. Yeah, 2022. Yeah, highly recommended though. It's it's great. I'm excited. Uh, I think Shrek 5 will be hopefully good. <laughs> that, that, that's about it. Like we, no one knows anything about the movie. Um, we just know Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy, and Cameron Diaz are coming back, so... I actually was wondering what he was doing. Who, Mike? Yeah. He made a Netflix show. Like a, really? Yeah, like two years ago. It wasn't good, but he oh. he made a thing. I, he's just, um, ever since The Love Guru came out, that that film like destroyed him. Not in terms of his career. Like I know a lot of people hated it, but he was so confident 
in that movie and pff, nothing like it just it did it, it, so bad at the theaters that it just kind of like <laughs> pushed him away which is a lot of them cameron diaz was in retirement she retired early came out of retirement to do one movie with jamie fox and now this eddie murphy was like basically just a flat line in terms of his like bo- like anything he was doing then he did dolomite which was awesome and then he starts coming back with all these movies like uh coming to america and now the new beverly hills cop uh, that came out like two three weeks ago 